Welcome back. Let's put these things together. Our assembly will involve attaching the heads, fabricating and attaching the keels, and setting the eyes. I'm fastening the heads to the body with some three and a half inch stainless steel screws. I'm using a Forstner bit and I'm going to counter bore the head. I've counterboard to recess the head of that stainless screw down into the head and get better bite on the body. Now I'm just going to use a twist drill and I'm going to drill the rest of the way through there. In addition to the stainless screw, I'm going to use Gorilla Glue to attach the head. Gorilla Glue says you want to wet one surface, or dampen one surface, and spread a thin layer of glue on the other. With a plug cutter, I cut some pine plugs that I'm going to use to plug the holes behind those stainless screws. I'm rolling the plug in the Gorilla Glue Get a layer on that. I've already moistened the counter bore in the head. I'm going to place that there and let that set up. The glue has had an opportunity to set up. In the process, it's going to do some expanding. So I want to clean that glue off there, and then I want to sand that plug down even with the surface of the head. For the keels, I'm going to use Western Red Cedar. Western Red Cedar is light, plus it has great moisture resistance properties. Um, I have some cutoffs from some siding and trim, and uh, I'm going to make good use of that. 
For the keels, I'm straying from the plan in that I'm making a more vertical keel to hopefully make the decoys more stable in big water. I need to measure mark drill and countersink the screw holes for fastening and the anchor line holes in each end of the keel. I'm rounding the bottom corners and I'm easing the sharp corners on the bottom edges of the keel. For fastening the keels, I'm going to use the same three and a half inch stainless steel screws and and the Gorilla Glue. Already got the glue spread on there. For the eyes, I'm using 10 millimeter yellow glass eyes. Have to mark the location, and I'm using my plan as a reference. I don't have the special bit for this, so I'm just using a Forstner bit. And I'm going to drill down about a quarter of an inch. Uh, I'm going to use an X-Acto knife and I'm going to try to put a slight bevel around the edge of that. For filler behind the eye, 
I'm using plastic wood. I'm going to fill that entire cavity. Whoops. And now, what I found to be one of the more difficult tests in my limited experience, setting that eye and getting it to look halfway decent. I'm going to let that dry and uh, do a little cleaning up around there. I've been doing a little sand and try to clean up some of that filler around the eye. Uh, it's not the greatest. All I can tell you is don't look too close. If a duck is close enough to notice that, I hope he's getting a face full of steel shot. In the next video, we'll cover that up with some paint.